Okay, guys, it's been a long week again. A lot of stuff I did. Start off with my little update. We're going to start off with rats. I'm getting a little tired of some of the people running their mouths about what they think I'm doing, even though they're out of my state, and they listen to one kid that may or may not have got bitten by a rat. Um, you can see my rats are not molting. They have full coats. I'm tired of these people thinking that they can understand what they can see here in a video. Look, you can see they're not patched up. These are actual patterns that are on here. Like the one in the corner that has his head sticking out. He has a marble head almost. They have full patterns, so they're not molting at all. I actually do have tricolored or marbled or whatever you guys want to call them. I mean, look at this one right here. I mean, I, I, I gotta admit, it looks like they're molting. I've never seen anything like this, but they're full coats. Full coat. And my guys are super friendly, and they're even coming up with patterns on them that are just phenomenal. Um, the truth of the matter is, I'm not sure what kind of rats I have or don't have. I've been doing it for 20 years, crossbreeding, and uh, some of these crazy, crazy beautiful patterned animals are starting to come out. Even the black one here has got a really cool pattern. You can see that too. Anyway, I am getting tri-colored rats in. You can see that beautiful pattern on top of the bald one. See how it's underneath and then halfway up it kind of like a lesser on a snake. And then his head is masked. I mean, if that ain't tri-colors, guys, I don't know what is. You know... I've got every kind of bloodline mixed into my rats, but you know what? I don't care how you feel about what I'm doing unless you're coming to my shop. And uh, the few that do come into my shop um, that have complaints, I'm sure it's because they pissed me off somehow or said something or did something that I don't even want them back here, which I've done that to very few people over the years. But anyway... On a good side, well, not quite the good side yet. As you guys know, I'm trying to retire. I just had this 40-gallon tank dumped on me last night. Very nice young lady came in. Um, her rats got a little out of control. Most of them are hiding in that little uh, uh, plastic thing right there. There's probably about 15 of them in there. I'm going to have to find homes for these guys because I won't mix these rats into my rat colonies. There's one or two females I'm kind of eyeballing, so I may take them out and put them in with my bloodlines. But she did have a problem of interbreeding, possibly, and I just don't go that route. So these guys may go as feeders or as pets, so if any of you guys are interested, come on in and take a look. I'll give you a real good deal on these because it's about just finding homes more than making money on it. Um, with the rescue aspect of the store... Um, it is starting to chop down. I don't have that many animals left, and I'm glad. But animals are still coming through the door weekly. And I have been saying no, but people are still calling and making excuses and stuff. Uh, we had a young fella named Connor the other day bringing this beautiful bearded dragon. He did a great job, but he was looking for something cuddly. And I figured I may as well take it because this is a beautiful dragon. It's got a lot of gold in it and a lot of dark blacks. Um... It is definitely some serious blood in this guy, but I just don't know what he is. Um, and then we had another one come in, and again, I'm not trying to keep any. He's been liking the water big time. He's been jumping in and out all night long, so he's been mucking up my water. But this guy here came in like two days ago, and uh, we're gonna, this one's pretty too, but it's a little skinny, so I'm thinking I might have to do a little work on it. But uh, basically, things are starting to sell, and the store is thinning out. So we are still looking for a store owner. Um, great opportunity for someone still. Um, got a lot of things I got to pull off. Weather's a little bit chilly lately. Took the bike in again today, you can see. But wanted to show you guys during the daytime the wonderful job Andrew did on my window. I think it came out smashing. His 3D images are coming out awesome on the windows. 
Andrew's also looking for some side work. So give me a call if you're interested in getting your windows done. And remember, the store is up for sale and so is everything in it. So come on in and make your deals while you can.